Hi, in this video we're going to be constructing a box plot in Minitab for a single set of data. Now in the last video we constructed a box plot by hand and the Minitab box plot is going to look exactly the same. It has the same components. Um, namely, uh, the box plot consists of the box, uh, Minitab will draw the box, the whiskers, and it will denote outliers by asterisks if there are any outliers. Um, the bottom of the box is the line drawn at Q1. The top of the box is the line drawn at Q3. And Q2, the median, is the line drawn parallel to Q1 and Q3. Uh, Minitab also draws in the whiskers. Now the lower whisker is the smallest data um, within the data set uh, such that it's within the lower fence. So we're looking for the smallest value that's not that's within the lower fence. In other words, if it was beyond the lower fence, it would be an outlier. And the um, upper whisker is drawn to the largest data value within the data set that doesn't go beyond the upper fence. Now Minitab is calculating the fences correctly as we expect, um, but it doesn't physically draw in the fences, but you can be assured that it's uh, calculating them and it's knowing when uh, a point would be an asterisk or if it would be you know the the upper whisk the upper whisker value so uh, we're guaranteed it's doing it correctly it's just not drawing those in so if there are an out if there are any outliers those values are beyond the fences either beyond the lower fence or the upper fence so the example I wanted to use is the one um, the Pennsylvania lakes we randomly looked at 26 lakes in Pennsylvania and we were determining their pesticide contamination levels in parts per million. The data set's already been ordered from minimum to maximum. Now the first thing I'd like to do is just compute the five number summary. It's, it's very easy to do in Minitab or to ask Minitab to compute any statistics that you'd like to see for a data set. So, um, in, in the Minitab worksheet box plot underscore lesson, uh, all the data sets for this lesson are contained in that worksheet. Let me open it. Um, C1 was the die roll data set, and if we keep coming across here, uh, there it is. And C13 is the pesticide contamination levels data set. Um, so here's the data set we're interested in. To get the five number summary, I go up to stat, basic statistics, display descriptive statistics, and I choose the column that I'm interested in, pesticide contamination levels. And so down here at the box, if I click statistics, I'm telling Minitab what statistics I want it to compute for this data set. So for example, I mean, the mean is a nice value to have, but for the five number summary, I, I, don't, I don't wish to see the mean right now. So I would like to see the minimum and the maximum. Uh, I always like to include N, which is the sample size. Um, it does compute the first quartile, median, third quartile. And you know, since it's going to compute Q3 and Q1 anyway, let's just ask it to compute the inner quartile range as well. So then we click OK. Uh, we have the right variable. We've chosen the statistics. I'm not going to ask it for any graphs right now. I just push OK. So here we see the outcome. There's 26 total data points. Uh, the minimum is 30, the maximum is 511, uh, Q1, 85, uh, Q3, 182.3, the median's at 119, the inner quartile range is the difference between Q3 and Q1. Now, Minitab might have done some rounding, so it might not be exactly the same values I had, you know, by hand. But it's only a factor, of, you know, I think uh, maybe they rounded uh, to the 10th place and I think maybe I did the, the hundredths place, but let's go back to the uh, lesson and look at it. So um, all I just described is how I went through Minitab to get that five number summary. So that's, that's summarized here. And again, here's the output, which I just showed you. Now, if I want it to, uh, Minitab to graph the box plot, um, I do the following. I go back to Minitab and I select graph and there's the list of graphs. We've already talked about some of these and I go down to box plot. I click it. I just want a simple uh, box plot on one Y on one data set. 
Um, again, the data set I'm interested in is pesticide contamination levels. Um, we can label our graph. We can view that, you know, we can have different options. But right now, I'm just going to say, OK, uh, draw me the graph mini tab. And this is what it produces. Um, if we want to see where the actual values are, uh, like if I, if I hover over this asterisk, it shows me that um, in row 26 is where I have the outlier, which is 511. Uh, if I hover over the plot, it shows me Q1, Q2, Q3, the interquartile range, the whiskers, and the number of data points. So there's a really nice way in Minitab to copy this and have it as this, this, uh, this box to copy it and have it as part of your graphic. But for now, I just wanted to show you if, if you do sit on the box plot, this, these values will come up. Um, I don't think it's uh, worth the extra time to show you. Um, I explained it below in the rest of this lesson how to get that uh, summary to be posted in your plot itself. So let's go back to the lesson. Um, again, this is what I just explained. And here's the graphic that we produced. Um, and again, this is the explanation of how we can have Minitab record what's in that text box uh, within the graphic. So if you're interested in that, you know, go ahead and read through this. It, it's, a, it's a really nice feature, especially, you know, if you're submitting this as part of a homework assignment to be able just to paste that information into the graphic so um, the instructor could see it. Or if you're writing a paper that you want your reader to know the exact values this is a is a really handy tool um, and last I want to show you that box plots are really useful com for comparing two different data sets but it, just so this uh, video doesn't get too long I'll go ahead and cut it here and uh, now you know how to make a box plot in Minitab and you see how easy it is um, to do that and also to compute the five number summary and also, it's going to be quite easy to do the comparison box plots. But we'll get to that in the last video for this lesson. So I'll be talking to you again very soon.